A South Bay woman's car is stolen two weeks after she got it, but she says it's what's inside that she's most concerned about. I'll talk to her to hear her plea in hopes her family can be made whole again. Stephanie tells us her car was right here in this parking lot when it was stolen earlier this week. Now, not only did she lose her only means of transportation, she lost her way back and forth to work, the only way she could drop off and pick up her kids, but she also lost a necklace containing her father's ashes. The picture of me and him in the front, the daddy I love you on the back, has been worn off for a while. But that's it. They'll probably think it's a piece of jewelry and give it to someone or toss it in a, somewhere. It's going to look like a heart, a silver heart locket. It's not a locket, like the, sh the size of a locket. Um, and you could tell it's a little metal that looks like it could twist off or something, but um, that's where it holds the ashes. Stephanie Lavalsett says she just got her car after pulling herself up by her bootstraps. Now it's gone, and so is a piece of her daddy. I kept it in my wallet because I was getting a chain and the chain broke and it's the only piece of him I've had with me through everything I've been through and I'll never get it back. He's been gone since 2007 and it's stuff like this um, that brings it back to where it feels like he was just gone yesterday or like I just lost him all over again. Um, so I watched him slowly go um, just slowly, just slowly deteriorate, but he was so strong. He was the, the glue in the family. His laugh, his chuckle, I have it. Um, my kids have it. But um, it was just short-lived. He was 47. Surveillance video captures the moment someone just walked into her parking lot in Encanto on Imperial near Euclid Avenue, got into Stephanie's car, and then just drove off. I want my pendant back, and if you could please find it in your heart to give it, just make its way back to me. I don't care about anything else. I don't, I'll find a way for everything else that the damage has been caused, and I'll find a way, but I just, I need my father back, my hash, the ashes back. If you know anything that can help get Stephanie's locket with her father's ashes inside, please call Crime Stoppers at the number right there on your screen. It is 888 five eight zero eight four seven seven yeah i mean whoever has that i'm sure they have no idea yeah. the meaning to her exactly hopefully yeah they just discarded it somewhere and someone else sees this story and says i've seen that and we can get it back to her when i was talking to her it was such an emotional interview i was like well we do these stories because sometimes we have such good luck people yeah. the people of san diego are so good absolutely I'm optimistic i'm hopeful keeping our fingers crossed. keeping our fingers crossed uh,